Hi there, Flavia. So, more essays. Great job. You're working so hard in order to prepare for IELTS. Good work. Let's take a look at what you wrote today. Okay, so, uh, same job or switching jobs? Let's see what you said. Planning a career is shown to be a controversial issue. Some suggest that once employed, a person should keep the job for their entire working life, while others believe that changing jobs is far more advantageous. I agree that switching jobs... Uh, has many benefits and this essay will explain the reasons using examples to support arguments okay great some people choose to stay with a T here uh, in the same job for their whole career one R the ones that take this choice usually have a conservative profile they tend to dislike care with your spelling changes and dislike taking risks why don't you say instead they tend to dislike change and taking risks therefore maintaining careful through spelling their routine is comfortable by remaining in the same job people usually know exactly what to do and what to expect however this path may have some drawbacks due to the fact that the employee is not challenged their knowledge often stagnates can be overcome by the market innovations which can threaten their jobs. Moreover, it is highly unlikely that they will get a significant wage increase during their working life. Okay, nicely said. On the other hand, some people may feel unmotivated. Uh, I wouldn't have said by here. Unmotivated spending their day in the same job without challenge or learning. Once reaching this point, switching jobs is a great strategy, especially if they can choose a job that fits better how about this, that better fits their expectations or offers greater wages. It can clearly be seen that by changing their working place, people can experience new challenges, expand their network, exchange knowledge, and master new skills. Furthermore, these benefits are appreciated even by international companies that often send some employees uh, S to an affiliate abroad for a few months to master, I don't know what you mean here by determinate skill. Okay, you lost me a little bit there. In conclusion, I strongly agree that people should switch jobs when necessary, as it is shown to be a wonderful strategy to move up the ladder of their career. How about instead just to move up the career ladder? That's the set expression for this. Okay, Flavia? Um, I really liked your essay. You did something that a lot of people have a hard time with. You talked about the opposite point of view, and then you basically punched a lot of holes in the argument. So that was really nicely done. And then it made sense um, when you analyze this side as well. So that was a nice, nice way of doing this. I really like this. Let's take a look now at crop production. Okay. Um, this one is a tricky one because it seems very simple, which means that you have to do a lot of analysis here in order to um, reach the word limit. Let's see what you did. The pie chart above shows in an illustrative way uh, the 2017's French farming production of six different products. Let's clean this up a little bit, shall we? So the pie chart above shows in an illustrative way um, the 2017, without the apostrophe S, French farming production of six different products, right? And then the rest is fine. It was just this apostrophe that threw it off. Overall, it is clear that cotton represented the largest crop, whereas corn and rice showed the least production. The other crops, uh, hold on, cotton, the smallest were corn and rice, right? Is that what you said? Corn and rice, excellent. Okay, uh, the other crops uh, produced, maybe would be better here, change up the language a little bit, were quite similar that year. Um, the corn crop, uh, showed the smallest outcome with the with a fraction of 1.7 followed by rice with a segment of 3.4 the total French crop production now here's a wonderful opportunity for you to show some of this wonderful task one vocabulary all right so you could have said um, uh, corn crop the corn crop showed the smallest outcome with a fraction of 1.7% followed by rice with twice that figure, okay? So um, you're using the word figure, you're using the, uh, showing that you realize that this is double this, okay? And it makes it a little more interesting. 
Okay, the sugar yield was about six times uh, bigger than rice. Okay, here you did that, so good. Representing a share of 21.9, similar to wheat with a fraction of 20.4. Barley yields represented almost one-fifth of the French crop production that year with exactly 18%. Okay, let's see. Okay, in conclusion, uh, cotton was the most produced crop in France in the year of, of 2017. Sugar, wheat, and barley presented a similar production around 20% each, whereas corn was, was the least produced crop in France that year. Okay, so I think when I saw your mess, when I saw your email, you mentioned that you had a hard time with like the word count, with trying to reach 150 words, and I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why this happened. So you mentioned in your overview cotton, yeah, but uh, you never mentioned it again. So uh, I want to explain something about the overview. Just because you talk about a category in your overview, it doesn't mean that you're done with it. You still have to get into the details. Okay? So, uh, you talked, you started here with the lowest to the highest. You started with corn, then you went to rice, and then you went to sugar, and then uh, you went to wheat, and then barley. But you never actually analyzed the figure for cotton, which is really interesting. I mean, you just told me in a vague kind of way in your overview that it was the highest, but you never told me what that figure was, so I never actually saw this figure. You never compared it to wheat, okay, or to sugar, or to any of the other figures, and that's, um, that's really important information. I mean, that's the, it's the biggest figure in your, uh, in your pie chart. Okay, you could have also um, maybe combined some of these together to make it a little more meaningful. I'm still trying to figure out also why you have it twice. I don't know if that was some sort of an error, um, but I don't know why. Okay, um, so just to recap, um, and then you did something interesting. I mean, okay, you had your overview, and then you had this, and then you, so it's like twice you had like the overview and the conclusion. So, um that seemed kind of strange to me. I mean, you don't need both an overview and a conclusion. Sometimes there are certain task ones that lend themselves to this, uh, but this certainly is not one of them. I got the feeling that you were just trying to fill up a word count. I think you probably could have done that a little differently, but for me, the biggest problem is that you never actually went into detail regarding cotton, uh, and that for me was an important piece of information because you did talk about it, that it's the... Um, the biggest but you never actually gave me data okay um i like the language you used um the grammar i think was pretty well executed so i didn't really have any problems with this all right so uh flavia correct these of course your error correction list should uh, you should add to that and send back your next essays looking forward to them okay so uh good luck with your next writing assignment looking forward to it